Hello, CEO chicks. My name is Shelly Fan Fan and I am your wellness coach. And I'm coming before you for just a few moments today to talk about some basic principles surrounding the psychology of marketing. While we all have different skill sets and we are in a diverse, uh, in, we're in diverse industries and different focuses as it relates to how we're dominating in the earth, all of us are trying to get humans to behave in a certain way. And so as an emotional intelligence expert, I teach people about human behavior. Behavior is anything that you can see, anything that you can measure. We can take a look at behavior and say, this is how frequently it happens. It happens for this long and it happens at this magnitude. That's behavior. So a quick example, Anger is not a behavior, but we are able to measure the frequency of an anger outburst. We are able to determine how severe it is. We are able to time how long it takes. So as CEOs, as business owners, we have to make sure that we have systems in place that help us to monitor human behavior, frequency, duration, and magnitude, okay? So when we're talking about marketing psychology, we have to understand the basics of behavior. And so from a strictly behavioral perspective, we learn that behavior happens in a chain, behavioral chains. Behavior never happens in an isolated or singular form, but it is involved in a chain, A, B, C, which stands for antecedent, behavior, and consequence. So for the purpose of this video, I want you to remember these letters, E-A-O. Again, E-A-O. The E stands for the emotional and environmental triggers in which a behavior happens. Again, the emotional or environmental triggers in which a behavior happens. The A is the action. That is the behavior. So as a result of this emotional state, as a result of these environmental triggers, I act in this way. And then the O is outcome. That's the consequence. That's whatever happens right after a behavior occurs. The outcome will always determine whether the action will be strengthened or weakened. Let's say it again. The outcome, the consequence, whatever happens after that action, will always determine whether or not that behavior that we want, that action that we want, that outcome will always determine whether that action is strengthened or weakened. So what happens after someone clicks on that start here, enroll here, download here? What happens right after that, that outcome will determine whether the action is strengthened or weakened. So us, as CEOs, we have to be able to consider the emotional and environmental triggers that promote a certain action. If you want the behavior to be a purchase, if you want a purchase, if you want that person to say, I want to buy, then we have to make sure that we are addressing the stimulus, the stimuli that promotes a certain emotion. We have to make sure that we're focusing on those environmental triggers that promote that behavior. The color green, motivating music, even the images of dollar bills and money. These are things that promote that type of behavior when you want someone to purchase. And so it's important as a CEO that you are clear about your target audience, that you are clear about that targeted population, who you are the answer to, and assure that in your marketing, you are considering the emotional and environmental triggers that you have to actually manipulate to get the action that you want and make sure that after the action is taken, that the immediate outcome is something that will strengthen that behavior. We want that behavior to happen again. We want it to be strengthened. We want the frequency to go up. We want the duration to be longer, right? We want the magnitude to be strong. And so remember, E-A-O, E, environmental and emotional triggers, a, the action that we want, that behavior that we want, and O, the outcome that we give that person, that customer, to assure that the behavior, that action happens again. The next thing that I want you to think about are the three A's. The three A's, 
These are the three functions of behavior. Why we act that the way that we act. What motivates behavior? What are the motivating factors behind behavior? Why does behavior happen? And human behavior happens for three reasons, three functions of behavior that we're going to cover today. The first, we behave because we avoid. So the first function, the first A is avoidance. It's important to make sure that as a business owner in your marketing, that you're making sure that you're very clear on what you're selling. Remember, there are three main motivators of behavior and the first is avoidance. We behave to avoid. An example of that is I smoke because I want to avoid feeling anxious, right? So that's a perfect example of avoidance. What other behaviors do you engage in to avoid and what are you avoiding? And so a perfect example of how this aligns with marketing is, are you tired of feeling sleepy? People want to avoid what? Fatigue. And are you tired of procrastinating? What do people want to avoid? Procrastination. So remember that the core principles of behavior, the functions of behavior, the first is A, avoidance. The next is attention. People behave for attention. I know a therapist in this field. She is killing the game. Everything that she sells is about attention. So she says, do you want a therapist that gives you someone that you can call whenever you need her? A, a therapist that's available via text message 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Do you want someone that accommodates your schedule? Someone that will come out to your home? Someone that will put the phone down and give you 75 minutes of undivided? Everything that she markets is about selling what? attention. And so how do we get people's attention? If people, if, if, if attention is a motivating aspect for behavior, we want to use people's names. We want to give them attention. How are you doing that in your marketing? How are you promoting avoidance? How are you promoting attention? And the last one is attainment. We're talking about the foundational principles for what motivates behavior. We talked about avoidance. We talked about attention and attainment. This means that we are, we behave to attain something and those things are something tangible. That thing can be attainment of power and attainment of a feeling, which includes an emotional feeling or a physical feeling. Let me say that again. The third function of behavior is attainment. It could be attainment of something tangible, like download this copy right now or this free download, and that's important. I wanna just put this quick plug. Do you know that a server, let's say a server in a restaurant who gives you excellent service and gives you your check and allows you to tip them compared to someone who had lousy service and gave you the check with a mint or a couple of chocolates, do you know that the person that gave a free thing with the check will all, always get at least a three to 20% higher tip than the person who had excellent service? Why? Because when we get free things, when we get things that are tangible, it motivates behavior. <laughs> the desired behavior that we want is more and more and more, right? And so think about this foundational principles that surrounds behavior. So again, the third one was attainment. That's attainment of something tangible, attainment of power, or attainment of a feeling, whether it's physical or emotional. It is important that as we are addressing marketing, that we are aware of all of these foundational principles of human behavior. You want your marketing to hit the attention on the, you know, hitting that, that, that nail right on the head that people, uh, what motivates behavior is attention. So how is your marketing addressing that? How are we slam dunking the attention aspect of your marketing strategy? People do things to avoid avoid? What, how are we making sure that in our marketing campaign that we're very clear about what people, those emotional states, those, des, those undesired outcomes, how they can avoid it? And then the last, attainment. My three-point prescription will allow you to avoid and achieve 
These are all things that are very important to assure that your marketing strategy is effective and you are rising to the next level. It's all in psychology. Our coaching team is equipped to help our members understand this psychology and assure that they are executing this found, these foundational principles in their strategy. You made the right choice when you join the CEO Chick Network. We are here to support you. Let's take this thing to the next level and dominate together.